Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the paid FSR 3 frame generation modern Alan Wake part 2 and Hogwarts Legacy, two very popular AAA titles. I'll be using the mod tailored by Luke FC. This mod works on all of the GPUs. I have already tested this mod on my ROG Ally that has an AMD based iGPU. Yes, the mod worked on it as well. In this video, I'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I have already explained the functioning and setup process for this mod in another video. I'll drop its link in the description. In order to add frame generation support to any game, this mod basically replaces FSR 2 with FSR 3. You need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page in order to gain access to the Discord server. Monthly subscription costs around 6.01 US dollars. You can cancel it at any time. From Discord, you can download the latest version of the mod. At the time of recording this video, the latest version is 0 0.9. Now there is another frame generation mod. That mod is absolutely free but it only works on RTX based GPUs. It is developed by Nukem9. I'll kick things off with Alan Wake part 2. First I'll run the game without the mod. I own the Epic Games version of the game. This game is only available on this platform on PC. Display resolution set to full HD using DLSS quality preset. Render resolution 720p. No access to frame generation. In game vSync disabled. I have enabled vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Using the high preset, all of the effects have been enabled. Ray tracing disabled. I have loaded the forest area. It's very demanding on the GPU. You can see if you drop down to around 45. Thick foliage here and it is raining as well. Other areas in this game are not as demanding as this one. In those areas you'll be getting better performance by a decent margin. This area is good for the purpose of testing. Nightingale mentioned the general store. I need to check it out. Heading to the general store. 45 to 52 FPS. You can see VRAM usage is around 7.5 GB. Now I'll show you how to install Luke FC's FSR frame generation mod. First extract the contents of common mod files archive file. Don't need this folder for Alan Wake part 2. Just copy the three files here. Open the game's install directory. Click on the three dots under its box art. Then click on manage, then click on this folder icon here. Games directory will open up. Just paste the files here. Oh no, my mouse has low battery. Change my mouse. Now this game uses FSR 2.2, so just extract the ASI mod file corresponding to it. And there's the file. Copy it. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Now before launching the game, we need to delete one file. And just open C drive. Open users folder. Open the folder corresponding to your PC name. Here make sure hidden item setting is checked. Just click on view here. Go to show. Hidden items checked. Then open app data folder. Open local folder. Look for remedy folder here. There it is. Open it. Open Alan Wake 2 folder. Delete this render.ini file. Don't worry. It will be created again when you launch the game. Now we can launch the game, it is not going to crash. I have even enabled MSI Afterburner overlay. A new window will pop up, you'll see some logs like this. Graphics setting, using the high preset. DLSS enabled, set it to quality. Frame generation enabled as well. Even if you have an AMD based GPU, you will be able to enable DLSS. No ray tracing. Start the game. My GPU only has 8GB of VRAM, that's why I did not enable ray tracing, it can cause the game to crash. Loaded the same sequence here, FPS is around 80, it almost got doubled. But I am observing some ghosting, let me just demonstrate this problem. Stand under the light. Now I'll move my camera, observe Saga's hair. It's literally vibrating. Now I'll show you how to fix this ghosting issue. Just go back to the directory from where you deleted the render.ini file. This file will be created again. There it is. Open it. Here just look for m underscore lens distortion. Change its value from true to false. That's it. 
click on file click on save close it run the game again ghosting issue will be fixed now i'll be moving the camera just observe the character's jacket no ghosting around it the issue has been fixed i'll play the game for a brief moment go outside here fps is around 80 i'm not observing any input delay controls are responsive games hard elements are not flickering as well mod is working perfectly i need to head to the general store we'll be fighting against a taken dark creature i can definitely observe the smoothness added by this mod It was a deer. There's a taken. I just point my flashlight at it. Need to purge the darkness first in order to do any damage to it. Shoot at its go. Finally, it's dead. In the indoor areas, FPS is even higher than 100. Now I'll be testing the next game. I own the Steam version of Hogwarts Legacy. First, I'll run the game without any frame generation. Full HD resolution, DLSS enabled. I have set it to quality. Nvidia Reflex enabled. No access to frame generation. Using the Ultra preset, I load the Hogsmeade area. Ray tracing disabled. I'm at the entrance of Hawksmeade. Here, FPS is around 60. We'll be sprinting around the area. FPS only draw from 60 to 50. Observing some hitching here. So, 50 to 60 FPS in this area. Now, I'll enable frame generation. The mod setup process is exactly the same for both Alan Wake 2 and Hogwarts Legacy. First copy the three common mod files. Open the game's install directory. Find the game in your Steam library, select it, right click. Click on manage, click on browse local files. It will open the game's install directory. Open Phoenix folder. Open Pinaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the files here. This game uses FSR version 2.2. Copy the ASI mod file corresponding to it. There it is. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Before starting the game, we need to delete its configuration files. So just open C drive. Then open users folder. Open the folder corresponding to your PC's name. Open app data folder. Open local folder. Look for Hogwarts Legacy here. There it is. Open the folder. Open saved folder. Open config folder. Delete Windows No Editor folder. That's it. We are done here. Now, if you have an RTX based GPU, you are ready to play the game. If you have any other GPU, you need to tweak one more setting. Basically, start the game and then exit from its menu. A new window should pop up like this. You will see some logs. In game settings, on my RTX 2070 Super GPU, I already have access to frame generation. I'll just exit the game now. After closing the game, a new TOML file will be generated in the directory where you pasted the mod files. Just open it using Notepad. I had to use this tweak on my ROG Ally in order to get the mod working. Just change fake underscore NVIDIA underscore GPU from false to true. Click on file, click on save, then close the file. Now I'll just revert the change as I already have an NVIDIA GPU. Start the game. Frame generation mod in this game works without enabling either DLSS or FSR upscalers. If you enable any of these upscalers, you will observe some ghosting around the character model. So it is recommended to just disable them. 
but you will lose out on some performance due to this. Game settings, first I'll run it using DLSS, set it to quality, frame generation on, reflex enabled, full HD resolution, ultra preset, if the game crashes just drop the settings, not using ray tracing. Just moving the camera in order to observe some ghosting around the character model. It is not easily noticeable using DLSS. I think most of the people won't be able to notice it. I'll just switch to FSR2. Quality preset. Now the ghosting is very easily noticeable when I move the camera. I tried enabling DLSS on ROG Ally but observed a lot of graphical artifacts. Simply disabled it in order to fix the ghosting issue. I'll go back to DLSS. On AMD based GPUs you may not get the best results with DLSS. Sprint around. It's raining. Here FPS is around 120. Variable drop down to 104. Not observing any input delay. Controls are responsive. Games hard elements are not flickering. Mod works very nicely. So that's it with my coverage guys. I hope you found it useful.